Big Tech's product announcements on live streams are probably the coolest tech thingy today. Seeing Grok3 set up today, I was instantly reminded of OpenAI's 12 days of Christmas, except the difference was like Wednesday Adams and Enid Sinclair. Hello, and welcome to day three. This is a launch we've been excited for for a long time. We're gonna launch Sora, our video product. And we'll talk a lot about why this is so important and so exciting, but first, it's so cool, we just wanna show it to you. On one hand, we had Sam Altman, who was the quiet and reserved sweet, hey, I got something to show you demo guy. And on the other, we had, it's Grok3, is. All right, I'm Elon, I don't do anything. <laughs> I just show up <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> so what is Grok3? the most advanced AI model by XAI, which claims to outperform biggie models out there, including GPT-40, Gemini 2 Pro, and DeepSeek V3. Early testing on math, science, and coding has revealed Grok3 as the superior one. It supposedly excels in reasoning and problem-solving too. And guess what? Musk also said that SpaceX will send Starship rockets to Mars with Optimus robots and Grok. Really? Since it's Musk, it is possible. But he said probably two years from now. Well, I suppose in two years. Mm -hmm. Two years? Everything is two years away. Musk and his team also announced the launch of Deep Search, an advanced search engine perhaps. And what's the obsession with the word Deep Research? OpenAI unveiled Deep Research a few weeks ago. Perplexity released Deep Research a few days ago. DeepSeek is, well, already deep. And now Grok3 with Deep Search. It's brand jacking, but not exactly. Now, Elon did a smart thing by giving early access for Grok3 to a number of tech leaders and tinkerers who put out their verdict immediately after the official release. You have Scale AI CEO Alexander Wong who applauded the model for its performance. Replit CEO Amjit Masad said that though late in the game, Grok3 appears to be a state-of-the-art frontier model. You even had Lex Friedman who was mind-blown with the model performance. Andre Karpati believes that Grok3 was showing capabilities that are close to OpenAI's O1 Pro, that to a feat achieved by XAI in less than a year. Hmm, too much? However, benchmarks such as ARC, which is used for evaluating the abilities of AI systems, has not been used. Maybe in the future. Okay, so Sam, now it's your turn. What are you up to? Do you think Musk's approach then is from a position of insecurity about XAI? Probably his whole life is from a position of insecurity, I feel for the guy. You did not just say that about Elon. Excuse me, someone got their feathers ruffled to call that man insecure and not happy. How's the for-profit conversation going for you, Sam? For the uninitiated, Altman's plan to transition OpenAI into a for-profit entity is complicated by Musk bid of $97.5 billion as it sets a high perceived value for OpenAI's non-profit assets potentially making the conversion more expensive or difficult to justify to the non-profit board and relevant legal entities. Ha! In your face, Sam! All right, I'll calm down. Well, with Grok3, everyone has got some serious work to do, and I'm pretty sure they are. Google will probably be next. So what about Mark Zuckerberg? What is he up to? Heard Meta is getting into humanoids. I wonder why. Whoa, hey, guess we'll know what those humanoids will look like. Well, thank you for watching my reaction video series. I'm Anna Nayar, your AI roaster. Think AI, think AI.